Oh, <laughs> hello. Oh God, look, that's, that's happened when you work in the yard. But I'm so happy I have our homemade hand soap. You want to know how it works? Follow me. Come in. Hello, this is Ute and today we are showing you, <laughs> we, that means Ken and myself, we will show you how to make your own hand so <laughs> you should see him walking under the camera it was so funny okay so we want to make our own hand soap um the reason is because as you already know we made our own shampoo and our own conditioner our own toothpaste and the deodorant now we thought it's time to make our own hand soap because do you even know what you are buying in the shop how much yeah surprising ingredients unhealthy chemicals ingredients are in the soap you're buying in the shop even if they call it no harsh chemicals which is a joke i mean it's our opinion it's a joke because what means no harsh our products they don't have any chemicals everything is nature we don't have any harmful um yeah i have to, had to write it down because the, the the names they are having in their natural um, hand soap, for example, sodium lauryl sulfate. It's called SLS. It's totally toxic. They have dioxane in their soap. They have formaldehyde, or now you say it in English, formaldehyde, right? Yep. And phosphates. So these are just a couple of chemicals. They are in their healthy hand wash soap. They are selling you. Today we are going to show you how easy. And you know everything is easy what we're showing you how easy it is to create your very own hand soap using ingredients like castile soap sweet almond honey and water all right by using by <laughs> by using natural ingredients you can avoid skin irritation and reduce your exposure to the unnecessary toxins so you can get if you don't your skin don't like the ingredient the chemical ingredients you can ha get skin irrit irritation like um, it's getting red, it's getting itchy, and you're not feeling comfortable because there are all this, for our opinion, opinion, unnecessary chemicals in it. And another thing is when you use our products or you make them self, the products we are showing you, um, they are not just healthy for your body, they are also healthy for the environment. Because if you use a soap with Castillo soap, almond honey and water, for example, without any chemicals, you can easily rinse rinse it down and it's not harming the environment this is another point it's not just that you are feeling healthy and doing anything good for your skin or your body it's also the nature outside we don't have to forget it because if the nature is uh, full of chemicals and poisoned we cannot use the herbs they are growing in there just an example so your skin will thank you for making this switch so here it comes the accepting part creating your i want to say luxury um hand soap you can on your own you can create your own taste or what do you want to smell when you washed your hand we for example are <laughs> we already made one we for example like vanilla so and i didn't even had have it prepared here so vanilla um is the smell we want in our hand soap but you can also use lavender or hmm, peppermint any any oils you like you want to smell when you washed your hands so it's totally up to you that's why i say it's kind of luxury when you have your hand, hand soap made on your own and you say ah, that's exactly the smell i want to have when i wash my hand all right so let's do it together we are starting with six tablespoon uh, which equals 90 milligram on Castillo soap. Then we have four tablespoons <laughs> tablespoon of sweet almond oil, which is, if you have the European measurement, it's 60 milliliter. Then we have two tablespoons, which is 30 milliliter, honey. And as I said earlier in some videos, use local uh, beekeeper. This is the best honey you can get. Don't buy it. And I mean, I don't want to teach you what you don't have to do or tell you, but I would not buy any other honey than from a local beekeeper. So, and you see it's golden and it's delicious. So we put this in our 
mixture here as well and I don't want to waste anything so let me take a spoon so you get all the goodiness out of your container sauce and now we have four tablespoon which is 60 milliliter normally um, water from what do you say top water Top water. Top water. But I have to say, we here, and I know we are strange, can build in a... What is that? Yeah, come here and explain. Okay. <laughs> I built in a three-stage water filtration system. A pre-filter with 0, 0.1, then with a cold filter, and an after filter, so that our water is free of any chemicals that come from... The city. The city's water. Thank you. <laughs> so you should see... <laughs> <laughs> Again, Ken is ducking down. Um, normally, what is the change? You change the filters every six months, I guess? Normally, they normally they say that. We change our filters every three months. And it's black. Trust me, the filters are black. And we have to, as you know, we are here in Platzmas and there is a kind of water issue. But we can drink our water. We can use our water for, whoops, for cooking or anything because we know it's filtered, it's clean, it's healthy. All right, back to our measurement, my little friend here. Mix everything together so that the honey combine with all the oil, with the oils. Mm -hmm. And yes, I know I didn't put in my vanilla. And you put in between, it depends how strong you want it. I would say between 10 and 15 drops. One, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen. One because it's so delicious. <laughs> you can never put in too much. It's totally, as I said, up to you. Um, more the other way around. If you put in just three drops or five drops, you don't even have a smell. I mean, if you like it without a smell, totally up to you. All right. So my little friend did his work, and now you will think. What the heck is that? These are all different sizes. The measurement we made here is for 250 milliliter, which is 8.5 ounce. So this is the bottle full of this, the foaming. You can use it, it depends on if you want to use it for traveling or wherever you need it for camping. We There are bottles out with different sizes, different volumes, and even fancy look. We have this in our guest bathroom. It looks so fancy. But for us, for our daily use, everywhere we have soap, this is more handy than this nice looking one. But it's totally up to you. So what are we doing now? We will, and another friend of mine, <laughs> I want to put the mixture in there. And as you can see, it's already kind of, Foamy, because I used my friend here to stir it together. And now, as you see how easy it's coming out. Let me put the rest in there. So. Doesn't it look like whipped cream? Yum, yum. All right. So here we have 250 or 240 milliliter or 8.5 ounce of homemade soap. And if you switch out all my explaining, it's done in minutes. All right. And making your own hand soap is not only cost effective, but also, as I said, you can customize this with your own essential oil you put in. Um, or leave it without any additional essential oil. Um, it's the scent and the properties to suit uh, to suit 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 <laughs> to suit your preference. That's what I want to say. It's a win-win for both for your skin and for your wallet. So we will close it. Maybe it's too foamy right now, but yeah. So then let me let me show you the one we already have. This is the soap we already made, and we made more than this one. Oh, now Ken want to try it. <laughs> okay, let's show. There we go. 
see, it looks like whipped cream. This is exactly what we think a soap no. should look like. And he put no. far too much on it to wash his hands. <laughs> it's just too much. So well, I would say... It foams and children will love it too, this is I would say. <laughs> if you take one, <laughs> look at this. If you take one and then you wash your hand. I mean, I have dry hand right now, but you see one is, it's enough. If you put water to it, so um, can want to show it how it looks like when you take too much. <laughs> too much. So as I said, we uh, have it now in this container. We, some of them in our house, we have the old version. <laughs> I just want to show you. Um, did you wash your hands? Yep. <laughs> um, but you don't. Do you remember when we made the conditioner and? When the camera was out, I and you know it was done in a double broiler, right? So, <laughs> and when the camera was out, I was thinking, oh yeah, now let's fill it up in our bottles. These are the original bottle, and this is the bottle when you use it, and it's really, really hot. I mean, it looks fancy, and it was shrinking, but this you should not do. So, if anything has to be done in the broiler, uh, in the double broiler, and you want to fill it in, and you have plastic container, don't do that. Just an FYI. <laughs> summary? So, yeah, summary is, as I said, with a little of six tablespoon of Castillo oil, uh, Castillo soap, and four tablespoon of sweet almond oil, two tablespoon of local honey, important, local honey, and four tablespoon of water. If you don't have a filter system like we have, may you want to buy... Brita system. Brita system, this uh, little kitchen thing you have beside the sink years and years ago we started with this but really years ago <laughs> so with this little time effort and ingredients you can make your own delicious smelling and feeling and yeah and even I just dried it I didn't run to the sink and wash my hand but it smells delicious you can get 8.5 ounce of your own luxury made home <laughs> homemade without any chemicals you made your hand soap on your own and you can surprise your family maybe it's something if you want to put it in a little container like this maybe it's something for christmas for your family think about it um we will um have it in the shop if it's necessary but i guess or we think you are able to do it on our own but if you need anything give us just a call and we can make something for you or give us a call or write, shoot us a message, right? And yes, uh, um, I have to say it, you know it. I am your master herbalist. I'm not a doctor and I cannot and I will not give you any medical advice. There is no medical advice, would you say? I know, but I want to protect myself. So other than this, every Saturday in the morning or in the middle of the night, we have a new video, DIY video coming out for you. And what are we doing next week? Do you know? I don't know yet. Let's be surprised. Some body lotion or shower for the shower, some shampoo or anything. Oh, we will come up with shower. What do you say? Shower. Shower. Yeah, when you go to the shower, what what is that? Shower, shower gel, shower cream, shower soap. <laughs> Something you can use when you when you go to the shower. But we don't know. Chemical free. Of course, chemical free. Can of course they they should know it by now. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for now. Um, we will be surprised what we are coming up with, what DIY you can do at your home. Um, from us here, we wish you a nice day and we want to say, <laughs> we want to say bye bye, Thank ciao you. ciao, love and light, love and light, Ken and Ute, ciao ciao. ciao.